And our team coverage moves on now to new details about that unprovoked attack. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas live tonight at the station house in Astoria where that suspect's being questioned right now. And Tim, you just talked with a business owner who turned over his security video to the police. And Maurice, I actually just watched that video myself minutes ago. We've chosen not to show it because it is so disturbing. It shows a man with a knife charge at Lieutenant Russo and stab her more than 20 times. Barbaric and completely unprovoked attack. Acting Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh is not the only one using those words. A business owner in this building who asked us not to identify him said his security video showed the attack was, quote, totally unprovoked. There was no rhyme or reason, he said. There was no back and forth. We can never tolerate this violence in our city. It has to and will be stopped. I asked the business owner if he'd ever seen the suspect before, and he said yes. He's seen him wandering around the neighborhood aimlessly, and he looked, quote, unhinged and like he was on another planet. Talking to my, my boyfriend, I refer to him as a crazy guy. This woman who lives nearby said she's also seen him wandering alone and suspected he was mentally ill. When I saw the commotion, I thought, I, I hope it's not him. And then when it was, I, I, I was surprised and shocked. Because again, when I saw him, I noticed him, but I didn't think that he posed a threat to anyone. After the stabbing, a witness chased that man and he ran into his apartment nearby where he barricaded himself until hostage negotiators got him out. Her assailant has been apprehended and will be held accountable for his actions. He seemed um, unusually solitary, he seemed odd. Police say Lieutenant Russo is on duty. She had just left her station to go get some food. No word yet on that suspect's name or what charges he will face. Live in Astoria, Queens, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Tim, thank you. Members of the FDNY often find themselves in harm's way. The FDNY tells CBS 2 1,158 members have died in the line of duty. And in the past five years, two EMS workers were among those deaths. Lieutenant Russo today and FDNY EMT Yarda Arroyo, who was killed in 2017.